Hey, Dave here with Transfer Express. Today, we're gonna to be covering the HP Tag Along Platen. So not only are we gonna be covering just the value that this adds to your heat printing business with printing your uh, tags and the fronts of your t-shirt at the same time, but also this platen makes it incredibly efficient to print large run jobs and get your t-shirts, any kind of apparel, hoodies, tank tops, nice and registered and aligned every time, just saving you so much time when you're printing larger runs. The Tag Along is a solution to fit for any full-size Hotronics heat press. This covers both the Hotronics and the Max line. It really works well if you have one of our caddies or our counter caddy stands that make the platen fully threadable. It really just unleashes the power of this platen. Here on the back side, this does have the quick change mechanism to lock into the presses, making it really super easy to swap out. But once you put this in your press, I don't think you're gonna wanna be removing it. The only downside is you take a full 16 by 20 print area and reduce it to a 15 by 16. So you are reducing a little bit of your capabilities, but for the, for the value of actually being able to easily align your shirts every time with this kind of neck shape and seeing where your collar fits right along this, it really saves time and I love having it on our Hotronics Auto Clamp. So we'll go ahead and swap it in there and I'll show you exactly how it works. The quick change system is super easy for all of our Hotronics presses. It's just this simple lever on the right side underneath your platen. Go ahead and open it up and the current platen just lifts straight out. And all you have to do is bring in your tag along, get it right on in there, align it into the hole and lock the lever on the right hand side underneath the platen back down and that's it, it's installed. Now that we've got our HP Tag Along Platen installed on our full size 16 by 20 Hotronics Auto Clamp, the press is heating up. Before we put any garments on this, I wanna show you how you can maximize your branding potential by putting inside tag prints on your gang sheets. So let's head on over to Easy View Designer and I'll show you exactly how it's done. So now that we're in Easy View Design Center, we've got our center chest full front artwork already designed. It's a two color with gold and white inks printing. All you have to do to add your shirt tag now is just go up to the left hand side menu, click add layout. At the top left here, you'll see dealer only. Go ahead and click right there on shirt tags and look at how many pre-made inside tag designs we have available. You can customize these to your heart's content with your own company name, the sizing information, the actual fabric that the garment is being printed on, and the country of origin. Some of them even have these awesome little icons that make it look super professional. Choose the one that you want. We like this one here today, the QTG5 layout, and you could always just search by these layouts at that top search bar when you're in the layout menu. We'll go ahead and get this placed onto our gang sheet. For today's example, let's use Leo's Apparel as the name. And we'll change this one to large and keep it made in the USA. All you have to do is duplicate this out and fill the bottom of this gang sheet with all this empty space. And it looks like we're gonna be able to fit 10 labels on here per one shirt print. We could go back through and change the sizing and the fabric for your specific garment needs. So obviously, if you're just printing these shirts, you are getting so much added branding power even down the road from just this single gang sheet that your customer is already paying for. So much value packed into one. Let's get this printed and I'll show you how it works. Now we've got our gang sheet here. As you can see, all of our tags right here at the bottom. So we'll go ahead and just cut out our center chest artwork to make sure that it's all set for printing. You could do this for as many as you want all at once or just do them as you go. For larger runs, I always like cutting them all out at once so I can apply all at the same time and knock it all out nice and easy. Now that we've got our tag cut out and we have our center chest artwork cut out, let's head back to the tag along platen and our Hotronics Auto Clam and I'll show you how easy it is to have these applied. Now that we've got our shirt, we're gonna go ahead and get it loaded onto the HP tag along platen. You do this like you thread any regular t-shirt. It just makes it super easy, as you can see already, just how perfectly lined up this shirt is. So, because we want to print the inside tag at the same time, just go ahead and reach underneath and pull the garment 
back side right on up. You need to pull this down to make sure you have a nice, clean, clear area to print. So go ahead and tear away the label here to get it out of the way before we print our label. So now that we've got everything aligned and ready to print, we'll go ahead and pre-press our garment like we do on every single print for three to five seconds to remove any moisture and wrinkles. Now, let's go ahead and grab our center chest print. And we'll go ahead and put this down right perfectly aligned on the front of the shirt. And we'll grab our inside tag. We'll go ahead and place right here on the inside neck. Once those are placed and ready to go, we'll go ahead and press this at our regular goof proof application. Our goof proof is a hot peel, so we'll go ahead and peel these off immediately for our tag and for our full front. Just as easy as it goes on, it comes off and we'll remove the shirt from the platen. We showed you how easy it is to print your shirt and your tag at the same time on just a regular t-shirt or a long sleeve, but we know that's not all that you're gonna be pressing. So I wanna show you how it works just for alignment and easy threadability, switching from the front to back on a wide range of apparel. So for a zip hoodie, we still wouldn't recommend printing with the seam on the center without raising the print surface. So I wanna show you how easy it prints to the back. Now here you can see just lining up the seams and the back of the shirt here. You can check your seams down the side, but just like that, it's super easy, ready to print and easy to remove with the quick slip pad protector. We've been asked a lot of questions about hoodies and hoodies will not work for being able to print the tag because you can't get the hood all the way up through there. However, with a smaller platen size, you may be able to get the pocket seam off of the platen and the collar seams as well off of the platen. But look how easy that is to line up. If you wanted to make sure that your hood didn't get any scorch marks, if you're working with a poly hoodie, you'd also just make sure that it's not on the platen up here and it's A-OK -okay to press. Even something like this light windbreaker style could also work on the platen. Go ahead and just thread it on like we normally would. And where you would normally have to worry about this zipper being on the collar, you go ahead and just shove it down into the hole and get it out of the way. And now you have an awesome, clear, free space for your center chest with any of the zipper clearly away from any platen. You don't have to worry about it messing with your pressure. Now this even makes printing polos a little bit easier too. Now where you won't be able to pull up the back end side, as you can see it's a little tight with the extra collar and you're gonna have some issues there. But what you can do is, while you're printing these, you go ahead and get this on here. And where you would traditionally have issues with a square palette, now you have a little bit more room to fit one of our mouse pads. Now this is cut to a print size for a left chest. Easily fit right under where that print area would be. Pressed and all set. You could easily remove the print pad and then you could easily remove the polo as well. And just like that, super easy to add the front print and the inside tag print at the same exact time. Now this thing for 375 bucks will pay for itself in just your time printing alone over the course of just a couple orders, depending on your order size. So it is really, really, really valuable and at quite an affordable price. Now the Tag Along Platen is a patented design, so you're not going to find many variations out there of something that's gonna work with your heat press. Again, this only works with the quick change capable presses like the Hotronics or Max Lines or even the Fusions. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you have an idea for the next video or questions, concerns, go ahead and leave a comment below. We're always super quick to respond. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button. It really helps us out. And of course, subscribe. Hit the bell to stay notified of all of our future Transfer Express videos. They're packed full of inspiration and education. I also wanna remind you, if you're new to the heat transfer game, maybe you're thinking about buying a heat press or already have a heat press and are using cut vinyl, you could sign up for a dealer account on transferexpress.com for absolutely no cost to you. We'll go ahead and send you a sample pack of all of the available transfers from screen printed plastisol transfers to full color transfers, 
right to your door for absolutely no cost to get you started. So you check that out on transferexpress.com. As always, thanks for watching and happy pressing.